Good afternoon, everybody. Wednesday afternoon, let me see here, about 5 till 3. That means that in just a few hours, everybody's going to be showing up for... Oh, no, that's not going to happen, is it? At least not yet. How are you all doing? I just wanted to do another clip here to touch base with you to see uh, how you're doing and also to let you know that God is good and He has blessed in so many different ways. I wish you could have could be the one to hear a lot of the stories and the conversations that I'm having with different individuals uh, as to how God is working and the many good things that are coming from such bad situation. And I'm sure that you're seeing a lot of this and hearing the same thing. So <clears throat> as we continue to isolate ourselves uh, in accordance with the uh, requests that are made from the officials. Let's do our best. Let's do our part. And in hopes that uh, we can help this, curve this, and make it go away as quickly as possible. So how are you doing? Uh, I can imagine there's, uh, again, I've kind of made reference to this already, is that uh, those that have kids are probably ready to pull their hair. And uh, I know they're doing a lot of work. Uh, is it Enrique, I think, that said, man, I'm working harder now than I was in school. So those are some of the adjustments that our kids are having to make. And uh, I'm sure the parents, the routines, the lack of our routine. Uh, isn't it awesome how we miss our routine Sometimes it's good to get out of it for a little bit, but then we do look forward to getting back into a uh, routine of things. Uh, I've mentioned before, and I still see it, uh, in that as far as people with fear, I'm hoping that most of you are experiencing the peace of God in your hearts, and that knowing that God is in control, it may not seem like it, feel like it, uh, but yet we have to be confident that God is in control. I came across a couple of scriptures, uh, in fact, just uh, two or three verses that uh, in my devotions this morning, and I thought, man, this is this is speaking to us today. And uh, I thought, okay, I, I need to make a clip to be connected with you all, as well as to offer you... Uh, some encouragement. Uh, the scripture that I want to uh, read and make reference uh, to is is found in First uh, John chapter four, and I'd like to read with uh, beginning with verse uh, sixteen, and it reads like this: uh, "And we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love." And he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. So here again, the, the author of, this, of this, uh, these verses inspired by the Holy Spirit is, is that our, our relationship with Christ is, and with God is, is of utmost importance. And, and he goes on to say in verse 17, and this is the part that I think really speaks to us, 17 and 18, love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. If we have that relationship with, with Christ, then yes. And then verse 18, and here's where I think it speaks, speaks loud and clear as to the two groups of people that uh, we, f we find in these days. These days are, are kind of like um, showing uh, and dif differentiating two groups of people, and it's this. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. And then verse 9, I need to stick this in. We love him because he first loved us. 
So, you know, I'm finding out those of us that have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah, it's an inconvenience and it's a hassle and we feel like pulling our hair and all these kind of things. But on the other hand, isn't it good to know that we still can have the peace of, of God in our hearts? Keep hanging in there. Keep calling each other. Let's keep each other in touch. Uh, the office is trying to send out, and Kathy is doing a, a superb job of sending out uh, information, people with requests. Don't just read them. Take a moment and pray for these needs that uh, keep coming out of the office. Uh, it's both to inform you, but that we literally stay connected and pray and, and, and interceding for the needs that are present. And I'd like to just have a word of prayer with, with you before we close this moment here together this afternoon. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your love. Thank you for first loving us, even though we were sinners, we were your enemy. But God, you, you reached out through your son, Jesus Christ, and you have shown that love. We thank you for the fact that during days like we are experiencing right now, it really puts this to the test. We're not experiencing peace just because everything is peaceful. We're experiencing peace even though things aren't peaceful because your love casts out all fear. The fear of the unknown, fear of the the lack of, of what, we, what we think we may lack, the fear of, of, of what could we say, the sickness. We think, uh, we think of us maybe getting sick, and some have, and we pray for them. Some of us are fearful for food supply, and some of us are fearful for our jobs, and some are really experiencing some tough times right now because uh, they're not working, and Lord, it's just a, a mountain of things that can cause us to fear. But we're glad that in the midst of the storm, yes, you can still give us peace because you will provide one way or another. Help us, O oh Lord, to draw closer to you. Help us to realize that the love of Christ is critically important right now. And those of us that have it, help us not to hoard it to ourselves, but to help others who are battling with fear and just tell them of the love of Christ and how that can help in times of uncertainty. I pray that you bless each one of our church family. Lord, bless them, help them, encourage their hearts. And then, Lord, those of in our community, our leaders, pray for our president, vice president, those that are making some real tough decisions. It's not easy, but with God, all things are possible. And we thank you for the wisdom that you give to us. These things we bring to you, make our request known to you, as well as being thankful, all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless. And yeah, looking forward to the time we can reconnect. But in the meantime, stay strong and be of good courage because God is on our side. God bless.